welcome to the scene. It is Monday. It's another week. Glad to have you with us. I'm Eddie Owen. I'm Becky Freeman. And I'm Chad Miracle, and I'm turning colors. <laughs> are you really? Yeah, I'm like, I'm oh, orange are. over here. That is strange. But I'm red over here. I wonder if that's the monitor or the camera. I don't know. It doesn't really matter. It doesn't matter. Because people out there, <laughs> if it's not happening on their TV, they're wondering what the heck you're talking about. I'm yeah, not talking about anything. Sensitive That's what it is. That's what it is. Today on the show, we're glad to have you, by the way. Today on the show, the uh, folks from the Dream Factory are here. They're having a the big fundraiser next weekend. Um, they're gonna, it's karaoke. Karaoke. Chili supper, all kinds of stuff. And then we've got Pet of the Week here today. So we've got we an orange white tabby. There you go. <laughs> for the Pet of the Week. Aww. Aww. I don't know how big Aww. it is. Wait a minute, on three. One, two, three. Aww. Aww. Thank you. Too. Okay. okay. <laughs> um, I, an interesting article I saw this weekend, and I, I wanted to bring this up. Southwest Airlines, who I love, love Southwest Airlines, flown them for many, many years, apologized to a woman because they threw her off a plane because her kid was too loud. <laughs> Ooh. My question is, why are you apologizing? Exactly. <laughs> you should have opened the window and threw him out. With everyone else, right? At 20,000 feet. No. No, they, the kid was screaming at the top of his lungs. People could not hear the announcements. That's it's a safety concern. Yes, it's a safety concern, even though nobody pays any attention anymore. They they apologize and offer her free credits. I think they should be applauded for kicking him off well, in the I, first place. Yeah, but that's exactly. just me. Well, they have like some kid duct tape they put over his mouth. Oh, I love know? that. You know, oh my gosh, you can that's tell you two idea. are not mothers. That's like. a great idea. Well, that's good to know. That we're but not my mothers. kids would not act up like that. There's kind of you know, if my kids act like like that, you get a dirty wrong. sock my in their mouth. Mother, my mother, Ruth Ann, would have. Yeah, my mother would too. I'd have, I'd have been at the back of the plane, and We'd it would have been, been by the, walking. We would have been in the restroom. Might have been a little. Well, all my mother would do is have to give me that look. That look. Oh yeah. Give her the look. Give, give mother, him the look. You, you, here's the key for me. I knew I was in trouble for my mother. The two words that came out of her mouth. Edward Lewis. Oh. That's all it took. That's all it took. <laughs> I'm not doing it. Whatever it was, mom, I quit. You know, because you know, I, I was afraid she'd kill me. That's that that spare the rod thing that's been kind of thrown around. You know. <laughs> What's it, well, so after we kill him, <laughs> you've got something for him. Yes. Okay. Let's talk about that. Oh well, we have. Um, you know, football kind of a big weekend of football around here. Titans actually won. Yeah, UK <laughs> lost. Were, cool. If you were in the UK, lost. You know, it, it was a, yeah, kind of an upset on both cool. times. Um, volunteers won against South Carolina, which was amazing. <laughs> but uh, a little something happened in Las Vegas. Well, that wasn't uh, what I was talking about. But go ahead. Oh, what were you talking about? I thought you. I was talking about that after we killed them. Oh, <laughs> it was a lady. Trying to set you up, lady in. Oh, but it didn't work. Yeah, well, I'm already into it. Now. Okay, well, go ahead. I'm <laughs> uh, Las Vegas. There was a Cobras, a high school team. Uh, they had a uh, they had an issue with a punt return. Let's Did take they? a look at that. Okay. Ooh. Is this a high school team or is this? Yeah, like this is a high school team. There's a punt. The receiver bounces a couple of times and he catches it. <laughs> oh no! He, he, please. He takes off. Okay. He's doing good. He's doing good. And everything's going well. Then, bam! His own teammate <laughs> brings him down in slow motion. You see it again. His own teammate brings him down, wraps him up good, and then his teammate realizes, "Oh no, I just brought down my own teammate." Oh no, I'm an that idiot. Was oh no, I'm an idiot. Oh, That's like friendly dude. fire right I there, just, isn't it? You know, that was, to me, that was too. Not funny. good. Not, Not good. good. Hmm. Well, I was talking about something else. You were talking about where this guy thing. will end up after yeah. this. Yeah, <laughs> the coach gets through it. Exactly. Walmart now has a has a new department, folks. Look uh, at that. They're selling oh coffins. There used to be some laws that you couldn't buy coffins. You had to go through like funeral directors. Right. And I guess it, maybe it's state by state, but now can't do a used coffin. Look, that's for a You can't do a used coffin. Use like coffin. No used coffin. <laughs> Not that I would really care if I had a used coffin. You can't sell used coffins or or uh, uh, mattresses. Right. I knew the mattress thing. You can't, you can't do, do that. that. Where's the correlation I there? I have no idea. Man. <laughs> well, you sleep in both. But anyway, so $900 for money. a coffin. Now, here's the thing that gets me, and I'm, I'm all for funeral homes and all that stuff, making the money, whatever. But you go ahead and buy a coffin in a funeral home? Yeah, you're talking about thousands, five, you know, thousands, five, 10, thousands, and thousands, 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 thousands of dollars. I'm waiting for them to sell the plots in the middle of the aisle, you know, people that usually go down this particular oh. aisle. Yeah. <laughs> Put me over there by the electronics. <laughs> you have your eternal would... resting place in Walmart. How oh, about man. that? How depressed. And then you'd have a plaque. I love Walmart, but I don't want to say that first. You'd have a plaque on the floor. There you go. Know, here lies so and so. I want. I wanted on, it's on than tape concrete. today. On tape today, that Becky agreed to do something for me when I die, which could be any day now. The way I could kill going. him. Yeah. yeah. No, I want my ashes put half of them at UK on the football field, half of them on the lagoon in front of the Magic Kingdom at Disney World. <laughs> 
and you're going to do it for me. But you have to pay the, the fee to go. <laughs> well, I, I'll get you <laughs> the, the flight. Is Greg yeah. still in business? <laughs> yeah. yeah. I'll get you one of those, you know, Do they have planes? <laughs> do they have planes? No, but it's the thought of it. You should you I understand. Even worry about that way that. I can carry your ashes in my lap yes. until we put you at rest. There. The world's going on in the control room. I don't know. I think you got some bad jelly in there. In there. Oh, they're, they're just planning your funeral out. <laughs> yeah. Well, like I said, it could happen any day now, folks. So just, you know. But anyway, you take care of that. Okay. All right. What else is going on? Uh, UK basketball tonight. I can't believe yes. we haven't talked about this until That's right. now. That's right. Uh, you can catch the game starting at 8.30 right here for pregame. 9 o'clock for the play-by-play. -play. Been getting calls all day long. Um, Against the Campbellsville Tigers. Do you know that I'm evil? You are evil. Enough. I'm evil because, here's what happened. Don't even say a word. Uh, you know, my little UK thingy here, my little UK email mm -hmm. loop that we talked yeah, about. we all know about oh, that. Oh, I think I know where you're going. I convinced a bunch of people today that the game was blacked out in their area. <laughs> just for the heck of it. Oh, yes. Oh, they were you so are mad. Evil. They were so mad. They were ready to drive other places to watch it, and uh, it was just a joke. It was that full moon Halloween thing, wasn't it? it was, just kind of yeah. carrying over. That's what it was. Actually, the full moon is right now. I want, right I want now, to ask right? a question yeah. real quick. Um, did, did you hear there were less trick-or-treaters this year? Everybody I've talked to said there's less trick-or-treaters. I did any but my grandson. Really? Did you dress up? I, for a minute. Since you didn't Friday? I did for a <laughs> minute. Thanks. Well, she did. <laughs> well, we she told out, us she was. We went out Saturday night, and uh, I about ran over maybe five or ten. And usually, I only <laughs> you know, usually every, every years past, I run over at least twenty five, thirty. <laughs> You know, going down the street. I'm not night. hearing this because I don't night. want to have to testify. Okay, leave me Bad out. Night. Well, you know what I mean, though. I mean, because I'm going, I'm going like two, three miles an hour, and then all of a sudden I see this black cat. You know, it's Ooh, about that's not good. It's don't about mess four, with my no, black it's cat. about four foot tall. It looks like a little kid <laughs> running across, and then I see, you know, Superman running across oh. the road. You know, I thought it was a real black cat. No, no, he I'm talking about the little kid moon. black cats. Okay. You know. Is that full moon? Carl Prather. All of you probably remember oh, Carl Prather, man. who used to be here. And I'll try to get one of the pictures this week and show you. Carl went as Michael Jackson. He looks it's like classic. Oh, my goodness. It is classic. He has the red the red coat, the glove, the wig, and the sunglasses. And the moves? Uh, I don't know about that. Uh, but he, no, he, this he is Carl. Carl. He didn't make a good move. Carl, Carl, Carl and I are great <laughs> friends. And I would say this to his face, so don't anybody get mad. Carl's the only black man I know with no rhythm. Exactly. <laughs> okay? Yeah. All right. So there I said it. All right, we'll be back right after this. Stay tuned. Weather is up next. We have the, care, the people from the um, Dream Factory with us today, and uh, Wallace is here with the, the cat. The cat. The cat. In the hat. Right? <laughs> Glee. Oh, yeah, welcome back, everybody. I'm spitting all over the place. Here. <laughs> Sorry. That's what you spit on. I know. <laughs> Yo, he spit on me wiped too. I got hair everywhere. I was drinking. He something. just wiped it all from, over from me. One yeah. of my lovely buzz mugs here. You know, and, and, uh, I've got something in mine. So I yeah. don't think it was the mug you were drinking from. It's a jug. I remember. We keep these cups on the set all the time. Different cups, not these. But I remember when uh, Ernie Fletcher was here, governor of state of oh, Kentucky, yeah. and he wanted some water. And I brought him. A, <laughs> I brought him a bottle of water. And he started to pour it in there, and he looked at it. And, you know, he was like, "Ooh, no, I don't think I will." It probably carries typhoid. Yeah, he's a smart like guy. That. Yeah, it's, his cups just sit there all the time. So. Yeah, looks good. They're having a party. They are having a party. party. Yeah. Didn't invite us. We're not paying them for that, are we? No, I don't think so. They're indentured servants. <laughs> um, Eight thirty tonight, folks. That's a pregame on today's on tonight's game. Don't forget, tomorrow night is cat calls. 7 o'clock. 7 o'clock. Chris and I'll be here. No telling who else. So we'll be taking your phone calls, I think. we got to work. we got to call the cable guys. got to do that. Yeah, got to call the cable guys. Okay, we'll call them when we get through here. Yeah. We're going to be cable taking guys. your calls, talking to UK sports, uh, mainly basketball, but football too, if you want to talk about football, which I'd like to talk about after Saturday. <laughs> um, and then uh, the game, tonight's game, will be replayed on Wednesday night, yeah. starting at 6.30, I believe, and the game's at 7. So. Okay. Sounds good. Is that okay with you? Sounds good to me. All right. Sounds good to me too. Thanks for asking. <laughs> I don't really care. I just thought that's what I thought. thought I'd make you feel good, but I'm going to go off and be evil and see I what I can better. convince. Who else I can convince that the game's not on tonight? But join us tonight, uh, nine o'clock. <laughs> tell the cats. The Eight thirty for the start, huh? Tell the cats the game's not on tonight. Yeah, I'm going to tell. Let me get old John Calipari. John, the game has been canceled. <laughs> oh. We'll see you tomorrow. <laughs> Hope you have a great evening, everybody. <laughs>